Um, a quick update, at 6.47 p.m., there was an electrical disturbance in the system affecting approximately 62,000 customers in the Manhattan area. This was caused by a power outage on the west side of Manhattan. The fire department, police department, and emergency management responded quickly to the scene, and we are working closely with Con Ed to restore power as quickly as possible. We have no reports of injuries or fatalities at this time. We also have a list of those individuals that are on life-saving equipment, and we are working with them to make sure they have what they need. And we have put together a joint task force with PD and the fire department to make sure that nobody is uh, stuck in an elevator still. Right now, I'd like to turn it over to the CEO of Con Ed, John McAvoy, to give an update from Con Ed. Hi, good evening. Thanks very much. Uh, my name is John McAvoy. I'm here to represent Con Edison. Uh, we experienced a significant disturbance on the west side of Manhattan at one of our electric transmission stations at roughly 6.47 p.m. that eventually interrupted power to approximately 73,000 customers. We divide the electric system into what we call networks. It's roughly equivalent to neighborhoods. It interrupted power to six networks. We expedited the recovery, performed an initial assessment of what was the most likely cause, isolated that equipment, inspected the other equipment to identify any, any obvious um, uh, abnormalities, and now we have, re re uh, we have started the restoration process. Of the six networks that we lost, we have restored two of those networks starting from just before 10 p.m., and we are working to restore the remaining four networks by midnight tonight. Now, there are some unknowns in this. As we restore equipment, we, wait, we may find damage that we're not currently aware of, but we are, we are proceeding on a path to restore all customers, hopefully by midnight tonight. We'll then look at the, the root causes of the event and restore the system to a fully normal condition once we understand exactly what occurred and what caused the outages that we're all experiencing today.